Greetings, YouTube. Today I'll be talking about the one of the eyewitness books, in which is aimed at, in theory, children, and this is known as Battle. Um, discover uh, the history of battles from hand-to-hand -hand combat of the ancient Assyrians to the artillery actions of World War I. Um, and it was at one time um, part of a library collection, the New Boston Central School Library. Um, this book is a gift from Albert and Francia, um, um, Francis um, Geist, Children's Literary Collection. I feel kind of bad about this, but I bought it at a thrift shop. Um, so that's, that's where it ended up. And we have a nice logo in here of uh, some kind of multi-pointed object. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. And again, because this is an eyewitness book, you can expect great illustrations and incredible photographs. And this is no exception. That's a wonderful Warhammer. And look at that mace. That's got to be Indian. Um, great pistol. Um, British sh uh, shoulder scales. So the um, decorations for uniform. Uh, holdovers from the a time when we actually wore armor. Um, an Italian line stock. Um, a multi-barreled uh, uh, Gatling. The U.S. Gatling gun. Um, British shoulder... Um, belt plate, which is awesome. And then we have some uh, a halberd, Indian axe, helmet, axe, and another uh, a pole axe. So you have these wonder, look at that axe, man. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I do love some of these or more. And again, it starts out as per what is battle. It starts out with the classic uh, Assyrians, um, the classic kind of a that ancient world helmet, which I think is so fascinating. And full scale, look at the size of this illustration. Look at that, isn't that just lovely? Um, then we have uh, the heavy, heavy cavalry of the early uh, musket era. Weapon training, how they were trained to fire their weapons. Engineering tools for um, figuring out how to, uh, a battle plan for your uh, for your day. Badges of rank, which is kind of cool. A baton. Um, I've seen quite a few World War II batons at antique shops, frequently made out of uh, available materials in the field. They always kind of fascinate me. Uh, supply and transportation, because a, an army does travel on its supply lines. I don't have supply lines, and you die. Um, and talking about what kind of things did show soldiers have to carry. Here we have a bill hook for cutting food and chopping firewood. Uh, that would be also more for brush than anything else. But but tools, you know, can, a canteen, a shaving kit, eating utensils, the type of uh, role they would have for carrying uniforms and things like that. Um, Recon materials, binoculars, and spy glasses. Um, we have field guns, and I mean, look at the beautiful. I would love to see this thing in real life. It would be just so awesome. Um, then again, we have again more tools. These are the tools of uh, must uh, of uh, cannoneers. Uh, and then we have more for properly uh, out setting up camps and uh, fortifications and things like that. And grape shot, which is just. A horrible thing and marvelous at the same time. Here we have you the early rapid fire weapons, the Gatling gun. Look at the beauty. Isn't that just lovely? I do love good, well machined um, uh, metal. Then we have high angle fire into so the early mortars. Look at that solid bronze or brass mortar. Um, more military instruments, and these were works of art at one time. They really really were. Here we have an axe which has a, 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 a meter on it so you could actually set the angle of something. So it's a tool and a weapon which makes me think of very dwarven type of thing. Here we have uh, bows and arrows from the uh, priest uh, uh, gunpowder era. Uh, crossbows which were deadly. And we have hand weapons. We have, look at that, and there folks, that right there, that's a Tetsubo. Um, and what are they calling this thing? It's a parrying shield. Interesting. That's really... I've never seen this illustration other than this book. And you think of all those books I've got on this stuff, I think I would have encountered them before. That's a work of art. It really is. That's just beautiful. And we have a, uh, a, um, a guitar. 
This one looks like it has a sword catcher built into it. Uh, here we have some of the more unusual weapons, and this uh, I've seen this before. This particular, which is a uh, a weapon built into a, a sword blade built into a gauntlet. Here we have a sword catcher. We have uh, the side arms of uh, soldiers. Then we have oh, here we have a, 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 a bullet mold. Different types of uh, firearms that were, and you're getting into the the uh, 18th and then again the early 19th centuries in here. <clears throat> we have close combat. That's a really great helmet. I would question the utility of having a helmet with a big fin on top, but that's just me. But that's a really nice mace. And we have some halberds. Um, some heavy pistols in here. Oh, I, I would probably call these horse pistols. And look at that wonderful blade. Not nice. And look at that the, the 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 chest place on that. And then we have a uh, a triple bladed dagger designed for uh, sword catching. Here we have some more. We have look at the look at that cannon. Wow. Just a work of art. Truly an amazing amazing device. And then we get into the era of rifling. So now we're getting into the point where. Uh, Weapons are becoming far more accurate, and you're going to be doing far more, uh, having things at far greater ranges. Uh, and this cannon has a carriage which absorbs the recoil because it's at an angle, it takes up the recoil, and then it slides back into position when you're done. Uh, obviously, not the exact same position. Um, and here we have uh, someone holding a, uh, a dagger style tomahawk. Some clues. Uh, boots of the era, which is kind of intriguing. Uh, it would be, we'll be aware that high-heeled shoes were originally designed for, for bushers to stick a stand of the blood. They only later were adopted by the nobility and by women. Um, then we have um, mementos and memories of, the, of, of warfare, and then a, a, a table of contents, and a wonderful um, selection of different things that you can get out of the eyewitness books for example their arms and armor book is excellent i need to do a review on that one i want a copy of that one um and but just just there's so many good things in that from this company it really is a marvel i think i have the viking book as well i need to do some reviews of these things up close and personal um and i still have a sticker on this one i paid three dollars for this at um at goodwill so definitely if you are uh you know anyone that likes Warfare, or is an interest in history, this is a great book, not just for children. This would also be a useful reference for role players any, from, from pretty much any era up through World War II, help them get in character and have an idea of what kind of things their characters would be carrying if they were doing a, a campaign that is based on warfare in any way, shape, or form. And let's face it, adventurers are going to be involved in weapons and armor, which is what they are. Um, so definitely worth your time. Excellent resource.